It's time to fire this thing up. It's been running this rough for quite a while. Go ahead and shut it off. Do you think it's the ethanol again? Ethanol, varnish, carburetors are gummed up again. Well, good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. This is Bert Dell. It's great to have you back around the boat. What we're working on is our 13-foot Boston Whaler, and this four-stroke engine is about 11 years old. Yep. And how many times have we rebuilt the carburetor? Uh, I think we've done it like three times. Okay, and we're going to have to do it again. And a carburetor kind of works with fuel and air and with ethanol, okay, varnish is occurring, that, that shellac is happening a lot quicker, okay, and there are millions of boats out there that have carburetors still on the water and today on the program we're going to show you how to rebuild a carburetor. Now, Bert, what do you think this engine is worth right now in good running order? Yeah, six, seven hundred bucks. Okay, what's going on with the lower unit? Um, before, before you put on these earmuffs, what did you notice? Uh, we got gear lube dripping out of the lower unit. What has happened is where the shift shaft goes through and the drive shaft goes to the top of the lower unit, it's corroded there. I think we've got salt water down inside our lower unit. And What are parts going to run us to fix it? Parts and labor, we're looking around 500 bucks to fix this thing. Okay, so we're pretty much just swapping out money, so it is pretty time. Much. Yeah. You know, this would be a great parts motor, but it's time to switch out uh, outboards. Okay, right. and today, man, oh, we got a great factory tour lined up for you because we're going to show you how one engine manufacturer is actually stealing off all of the fuel system on the engine from the outside air. And this is prolonging the life of the gas with ethanol. Okay, this is a big, big deal. And today's program is going to be chock full of maintenance tips for the boat. So no matter what type of boat you have, you want to make sure that you're watching. But speaking of tips, Bert, we need to get into today's first one. You know, it's amazing how many boat traders and tow vehicles have aluminum diamond plate. It's always been a hassle how to clean and polish these items and to preserve it for long term. I'm Ulrich Jens from Flitz, and what I'm here to show you today is how to bring back this aluminum diamond plate with a lot less work and a long term protection. First of all, what you want to do is to spray on the aluminum pre clean. Agitate with a brush and simply rinse with fresh water. What this does is takes off the heavy oxidation with very little work. Afterwards, apply a very thin coat of flitz over the entire area, put the flitz buff ball on a high speed drill and start buffing. You'll notice the three inch long fingers from the buff ball get between all the diamonds, pick up all the black residue and leave the diamond plate perfectly clean. To maintain a 100% finish, take a microfiber, wipe off the rest of the residue and you're finished. This will be good for a two to three month period in a salt water environment. To learn more about our Flitz product line, simply go on Flitz.com. ShipShape TV, the world leader in boat improvement, is being brought to you in part by Sunbrella Performance Fabrics, celebrating 50 years of providing shade from the sun, long-lasting beauty, and protection from the elements. With Sunbrella on board, we've got you covered. By the high-tech, low-maintenance Evinrude E-Tech. Evan Root, spend more time on the water. And finally by Ray Marine, world leaders in marine electronics. Rusted bow rails? Flitz it! Dull aluminum diamond plate? Flitz it! Restore and protect all your metals with Flitz for up to three months in salt water. Did you know Flitz does fiberglass, plastic, and isinglass? Watch how Flitz polishes, clears, and protects yellowed plastic windows, restores faded and scratched hatch covers. Wow, what a difference on heavily oxidized fiberglass. Back to new. Go to Flitz.com or buy at West Marine and other marine dealers. Flitz it for a shine that lasts. So, you've been thinking about getting underwater lights, but you don't want to drill big holes in your boat or spend a fortune. Perco. The name you've trusted for over 100 years introduces energy-efficient LED underwater lights that mount on your trim tabs or transom. Easy to install. They adjust up and down with the flip of a switch, no holes below the waterline, and most importantly, affordably priced. Perco. Light up the night today. 
Protect bare metal from the damaging effects of salt, grime, and water with the long-lasting power of the Hide. Shark Hide Metal Protective. Shark Hide for decades has been the only way to keep plain randomized aluminum looking like new indefinitely. It's the only product that goes on in seconds and dries to the touch fast, yet lasts years and years. Preserve that diamond plate. Coat stainless steel hardware. Hide all signs of aging from all bare metals with the Hide. Shark Hide. So what are you waiting for? Order now. Welcome back. This is a real working 28-acre boatyard slash boat building facility residing in Stewart, Florida. It's Shipshape TV's home base. Ideally located, the complex is situated on the shores of the Okeechobee Waterway, which happens to connect the Atlantic Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. Now once again, here's the founder and host of Shipshape TV, John Graviscus. Well, thanks, Buck. We want to real quick teach you how to rebuild a carburetor today on Shipshake TV, and that leads us to our next expert guest. This is Cleet Glasso. Hi, Cleet. Hi, John. How are you doing? I'm doing very good. Cleet is the owner of Lighthouse Marine Supply up in Riverhead, New York, and your company kind of carries all of these different marine parts. You ship them out, UPS, worldwide. Uh, there's even this cartoon character about you. you you're the part man, okay, right. when it comes to boat engines. But there's a lot of experience that comes behind the store. You've actually been an on-hands uh, marine mechanic for 30 years. Okay, right. you know what you're talking about. What's going on with ethanol in our gasoline to where we are getting varnish in our carburetors and we've got to rebuild these things. And, and show everybody the float bowl off this, off this carburetor and show the varnish, okay, because this is crazy. Well, John, what happens is the ethanol will evaporate out of the float bowl and it'll leave behind deposits and varnish. Boats set right. for a long time. And, 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 and when you're talking about these float bowls and, and gas being in there and open to the air, that allows it to evaporate and the varnish forms and all of that. Air, gasoline, and ethanol are a really bad combination, right? That's, that's for sure. Okay, what's, what's the big deal with varnish and, and the carburetor? Well, what happens is the varnish will end up in all these small ports and it'll block them or it'll end up on the needle and seat and it'll s stick the needle and seat so that the fuel won't shut off and you'll end up with fuel running out of the float chamber. Now, when the guys, uh, after they got the boat kind of into position, they went ahead and they took off this whole assembly. Now, there are three carburetors and that's because this is what, a three cylinder engine, right? Three cylinder engine with one carburetor for each cylinder. Okay. Now, what is this product that we have here on the table? Well, this is carburetor cleaning, John. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off all the rubber and all the nylon, all the plastic pieces. We're going to take the carburetor float bulb off. We're going to remove the floats and then we're going to take the carburetor parts. We're going to put them in the basket. I'm going to put the basket in the carburetor cleaner and we're going to let it sit overnight. Do you guys sell carburetor cleaner at Lighthouse? Yes, we do. Okay, so, so you kind of take care of all this stuff. Right. So, so the next morning, we take it out of the basket, we dry off the parts, and sometimes you have to use a little extra carburetor cleaner with a little air. A little forced air through the little ports to make sure you got everything cleaned out, and sometimes a little air to blow it out. Give everybody the trick that, that you were telling me off camera, okay, that is so important on the newer carburetors today. Okay, well the newer carburetors, the seat is pressed in. When the older ones, you were able to unscrew the seat and you could inspect the underside of it. Right. Because the fuel flows through here and then comes out through the, through the seat. So what we want to do is take a small piece of bailing wire and just push it down in there and just make sure there's no debris in there. Okay. Okay? Okay. And that way, that way, when the, fu the, way the fuel will have a uh, free flow. Now this is the float, okay, that goes into the carburetor. And, and, and kind of what happens is, you know, when the fuel comes in, it rises it, kind of just like um, the float in your toilet tank, okay? It rises and it shuts off the fuel. And if that shellac gets in there, like you were saying, you could have a leak. But you also need to inspect these things, don't you? Right. Because sometimes you get a hole in them. Right. Or sometimes the ethanol will deform them, so you want to make sure that they're in good shape. Okay. Is this one in good shape? This looks good. We can reuse this one. Okay, fantastic. We'll take everybody through the process real quick of how to rebuild the carburetor. Where do we begin? Well, first of all, we want to install a new needle on our float. And then we want to put our float in with a new rod. Gotcha. And we're going to put the floats back in the chamber. 
Okay. Now I know we have to put in this gasket, and what is that called? That's the float bowl chamber gasket. All right. We're going to install that on the float bowl. What is this round gasket for right here, Cleet? On this carburetor, this is the top carburetor, and this is where the electric choke went. So we have to replace that and then put the electric choke back in. What is this solid looking gasket for? What's this called? This is the diaphragm gasket, and we're going to have to put this on the top, and then we're going to have to install the new the plate back on. Are there any other parts around the marine engine that are getting attacked by this ethanol and need to be replaced and inspected? Yes, you're going to have to look at your fuel line from your fuel tank. You're going to have to look at your primer bulb. You're going to have to look at the fuel lines on the engine uh, because sometimes little pieces of hose will break off and get stuck in the carburetor. How much are these carburetor kits? Well, they run from like $35 to $45 each. Where, if people wanted to learn about all the parts that you guys sell, where, where can they go to kind of get some of this stuff for themselves? They can look at our website, partman.com. Fantastic, Cleet. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, right now, we need to take a real brief time out, but keep it right here because when we come back, we're going to be in Sturdivant, Wisconsin. We're going to show you how one outboard engine manufacturer is shutting off all the air to the fuel system in their outboards. Pretty cool. We'll cover it right after this. Don't pull the plug. The boats, the tools, and ShipShape TV will be back in a snap. Mm -hmm. Surplus is not used merchandise. At Marine Surplus, with our fully stocked facilities, it's brand new, first quality merchandise, all selling for pennies on the dollar. Marine Surplus is Florida's starboard headquarters. Need vinyl? It's in stock. Buy the rolls, the best resins, the right glass, hard to find instrumentation, fuel tanks, hardware, nuts, bolts, screws, and name brand propellers. Large quantities at the very best prices. Two locations or shop online. With this economy, why pay retail? Today, Ben bought a brand new plastic kayak, but at home he remembered it's Tuesday. And Tuesday is the day when Ben cuts things up with his chainsaw. Luckily, Ben had some new West System T-Flex on hand, a toughened liquid epoxy for permanent waterproof bonding of plastics. With a little tinkering in the garage and the awesome strength of T-Flex, the next day, Ben's kayak was soon paddling away towards new adventures. For more info on T-Flex, visit us at westsystem.com. LumaShore LED underwater lights. Underwater brilliance. Brighter. Smaller. Innovative. On-demand color change. Perfect for setting the right mood and perfect for varying water conditions. Can your underwater lights do this? Ours can. LumaShore.com Welcome back. You're dialed in to ShipShape TV. Boat improvement that's easy to comprehend. John, this is exactly the same engine you're going to be putting on that 13-foot Boston Whaler, and your daughter, Rachel, is going to love it. She just turned 12, and she's now eligible to get her boating license, so I thought it would be a perfect little boat for her to take her friends out to the sandbar. Hey, welcome back. We've changed locations on you. We are now in Sturdivant, Wisconsin, and this is BRP's Evinrude Outboard Engine Manufacturing Facility, and this is Eric Olson. Eric's been on the program a bunch of times before, <laughs> and he is one of the product managers for Evinrude. Thank you, sir. Eric, the assembly line is right behind us. And where does this begin with the 40 horsepower engine, with, with the actual block? Well, the block comes into the line. There's, there's a ton of stations that are out there that put either you know, alternators on, they put fuel pumps, they put uh, intakes, they put plenums, they put a whole bunch of different stuff on. But what we're actually going to be focusing on is the fuel system itself and that portion of her beginning to end. One of the unique things that we have is, and obviously this started out, running the fuel from the actual fuel tank itself running it to the pump, and then we run it to the filter. Now, the filter is unique in the fact that every one of our engines runs a 10 micron filter. The other guys don't. That, that's a big deal with ethanol, isn't it? That's a big deal, because it'll pick up debris and whatever from tank if you, you repower. It, that ethanol and alcohol really breaks free a lot of that gunk that's been in the tank. But what else is nice is it's a visual. You can actually see that fuel within that uh, particular filter. So it's, if you see there's particles and crap in it, change it out. Very easy to use. All right. Really nice. Okay. The next piece we have is our vapor separator. Now this is actually at number 80 as far as the assembly line. This is number 70, station 70. This is the vapor separator. And basically what this does, and pump, and what this does is it brings fuel to a return line 
that comes in and this is cooled so that the fuel remains cool, circulated back through into our high pressure pump that pumps the fuel back to the injector. Now this is what we call the rail. This comes off of the pressure system and then goes to the rail and then it goes to the injector. So then it pushes the fuel into the injector. Now the let's, injector... Let's talk about injectors, okay, yeah. because not... There are different outboards that use injectors, but they don't deliver it to the engine. They don't deliver the fuel to the engine the same way. How do you do it and how do other people do it? Well, one of the interesting things about our side of it is all our pressure is created at the injector. And when we create it at the injector, we don't have a separate system to either push the fuel through or draw it through. And our competitors, a lot of times, they use an actual air compressor, which means they have to have a separate air line, which is high pressure, and then push it into the injector. Now, what happens is you at mean that on point, purpose, on purpose, they're they putting air, air coming into in the contact injector. with fuel and ethanol. Yep. And there's one of the reasons you're going to find more degradation in that type of system. We don't have any air, therefore, we're running the pure fuel system. You're not really having to change out injectors when you can shut off the air supply. Exactly. Let's kind of give everybody at home a little analogy. You know, say for example you were trying to preserve some vegetables. Well, if you put them on a plate and put them on the back porch, open to the air, they're not going to last very long. However, you can those vegetables, you shut off the air supply, and it's going to last for years. Exactly. Now that's kind of the same premise when you're talking about an enclosed fuel system, right? It's Correct. going to keep the gasoline with the ethanol today from phase separating and from varnishing the parts, right? Exactly, because the ethanol likes water and there's water in the air. It'll basically attract to each other, drop out of whatever part you have and settle. And once it settles, the first thing it's picked up with mostly your fuel system is going to be ethanol and water. And when you burn ethanol and water, that's not a good thing. If somebody at home was interested in learning more about the Evinrude line of outboard engines. Do you have something for people? Evinrude.com. It's got everything from performance reports, repower calculators, anything you want to know about the Evinrude lineup and getting an Evinrude on your boat, you'll find it there. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Hey, right now, we need to take a very brief time out to keep it right here because when we come back, we're going to get into some boat maintenance issues with Barry from Surehold Industries. And man, are we going to blow your mind. We got a bunch of stuff we're going to cover right after this. Got a boat? Is it on a lift? Prevent boat theft the undetectable way with boat lift security systems. Fact, 74 each day are stolen right from this area. Sure, there are anti-theft devices that work off GPS, but the bad guys know how to jam them. This will shock you. Your insurance deductible for theft, most are now at 25%. Boat thefts are on the rise, but there is peace of mind. Boat lift security systems. Call or log on now, because crooks can't steal what they can't get off the lift. For long-lasting beauty on biminis, sail covers, seat cushions, and interior upholstery below deck and in cabins, start with Sunbrella. And then, just add water. For decades, only one fabric has been able to stand up to the relentless beat of the sun, wind, and salt water. To learn more about Sunbrella and its best-in-class warranty, visit sunbrella.com slash shipshape. Got a boat? Is it on a lift? Prevent boat theft the undetectable way with boat lift security systems. Fact, 74 each day are stolen right from this area. Sure, there are anti-theft devices that work off GPS, but the bad guys know how to jam them. This will shock you. Your insurance deductible for theft, most are now at 25%. Boat thefts are on the rise, but there is peace of mind. Boat lift security systems. Call or log on now, because crooks can't steal what they can't get off the lift. Welcome back aboard. Shipshape TV and its originator is back on the job. I got a big one, Dad. Bring it in. Hi, I'm Bill Shannon from Us and Natural. My entire family loves to fish, and the main tool we use for angling is the boat. It gives us the ability to get out there where the fish are. But, oh, the stains from bait, scales, and fish blood can absolutely detract from the beauty of any marine surface. And those aren't the only stains that boaters like us have to worry about. There's mildew spots on vinyl seats. There's black streaks dripping down. And I don't know if people realize this, but bleach is extremely toxic to fish, 
even in small amounts. So what's the answer? Osan Natural Spot and Streak Remover. Simply spray a generous amount on the spot, allow it to penetrate stain, agitate with a soft brush and rinse that dirt away. The 100% natural way. You see the entire Osan Natural Marine line contains zero toxic chemicals, including chlorine, bleach or phosphates. And they're completely harmless to waterways, marine life, people and pets. So catch this. Finally, Green Dead Clean! Take a look at the companionway door that I have on my 25 foot pursuit project boat. Well, over the years it's oxidized and I want to clean it and that leads us to our next expert guest. This is Barry Burhoff from Surehold Industries. Hi Barry. Hey John. I want to talk about a product that you guys make that might help remove oxidation from plastics. And I'm wondering if I could use the same marine product on an actual truck, because I've got some headlights on a truck that I need to clear too. Do marine products, can, can they carry over to different applications? 100%. Our full line of products that you have sitting on your boat here will do all kinds of stuff on your truck, on your RV, even around your home. Okay, what do you have that's going to clear plastic? Get okay. the oxidation off. Okay, oxidation out of plastic. We're gonna work with our buff magic for that. This is an oxidation remover, and what we do with this is we are going to remove that outer layer of oxidation, bringing through the nice, clean, beautiful surface that's below it. What we're going to do is we'll take some blue painter's tape, tape off the area around it that we don't want to, you know, a touch, like the paint. Okay. Okay. We're going to take the Buff Magic, paint some on over the headlight, so you get a nice, good coating of it there. Take our dual action polisher here with a wool cutting pad. Kick it up to about a three or a four, and we're going to work that product in, removing all of that oxidation. Okay. Now, how do we get the residue that's left over off of the headlamp? Just take a nice, clean, dry towel, like a microfiber towel, wipe off all that residue, take a look and see how it turned out. If it looks like it needs a little bit more, maybe do a second or third treatment. Otherwise, if it's ready to go and it's crystal clear and you're happy with it, it's time to protect it. Okay. Now, what do we protect that headlamp for or that hatch cover with? to keep it from re-oxidizing. Okay, so that's what we're trying right, to get rid of. Exactly. Right? Same thing we wax and protected your boat with, our Pro Polish. This is a polymer-based protectant. This has UV inhibitors. This has water sheeting properties. Great for the hull, great for the car, great for protecting those headlamps we just deoxidized. Okay, all right. So, so we've dealt with some plastics. Let's talk about a different type of plastic that might be on a boat. I'm talking about Isinglass, all right? Is there anything that we could put on Isinglass to make it last longer, to make it more supple, to, to maintain it. Okay, another great multi-purpose product we make is called Serious Shine. This is a spray cleaner. You use this with a soft microfiber towel. We're gonna to spray this onto the eyes and glass. It's going to clean it, it's gonna protect it. It has anti-static properties, anti-UV. Take the towel, wipe it in, wipe it off, and you're good to go. Okay, fantastic. Now, the canvas, on your boat often is held with snaps and I don't know if you've ever had a corroded snap and you go to you, you pull off the canvas and and maybe it tears because it's stuck to that stud okay what can we put on these studs to keep them working forever well again preventative maintenance and the best way to do it is we have a product called snap stick just pull off the cap twist the product out a little bit put some on the male end of the snap put the snap in and out a couple times, and what that's doing is lubricating it and protecting it. It'll last three to six months, depending on the environment you're in. Also, if you have zippers, okay, the teeth of the zippers, man, put the snap stick on the teeth of those zippers and work that zipper back and forth. It is gonna lubricate it, it is gonna make it so smooth, and it's never gonna get stuck from the salt, air, the corrosion, it happens a lot. You know, on canvas, this stuff is amazing. Barry, where can people get more tips on how to maintain different things with the products that you use. Where, where can they find out about the products that you guys manufacture? It's real simple. Come visit us on the World Wide Web, www.surehold.com, and there I've got all the tips and all the information on how to do all these little projects. Stay the course. Shipshape TV and its host, John Graviscus, will be back in a flash.
Introducing the entire 100% natural marine line from Ausan Natural. Four great products including Ausan Natural Spot and Streak Remover, which naturally yet effectively removes mildew spots from vinyl seats, black streaks from hull sides, even dried fish blood from all marine surfaces. Ausan Natural products are phosphate free, biodegradable, totally non-toxic to waterways, marine life, people and pets, and prove that green can clean. Visit us online at AusanNatural.com. Dealer inquiries welcome. Welcome back. You're tuned into ShipShape TV, America's favorite boat improvement show. Welcome back. What you're looking at is our 57-foot Monterey, and our 13-foot Boston Whaler would make a great little tender for it. But I actually have a 10-foot Whaler that I'm going to use for the tender. I want to give this boat to my 12-year-old daughter, Rachel. She's now old enough to go online and get her boating license, and that means she can take the boat over to the sandbar and have a blast. And let's talk a little bit about the new engine. This is the E-Tech Evinrude 40. We bolted it onto the transom. The control for the boat, the new control, the engineers, man, were they smart because I didn't even have to change holes from the Quicksilver control. It, it bolted in the exact same place. Now, I do want to upgrade the battery a little bit. Originally, we had a Group 24 battery. Well, Exide, provided us with a Group 27. This is a dual purpose battery. This allows you to start the engine as well as run 12 volt accessories. Now I just have a 40 horsepower motor here, but this power right here, this, this, this dual purpose Group 27, this has enough power to actually start a 350 horsepower engine and run a 12 volt accessory, a 10 amp draw, you know, maybe a stereo, something like that for eight continuous hours and I am going to be putting a killer stereo on the boat for Rachel. Now let's talk a little bit more about ethanol. If you really want to avoid these problems, all right, take your fuel tanks, take your boats to a marina that perhaps sells ethanol free gas. You'll never have an ethanol problem if you have gas without ethanol in it. Hope that helps. Hey, we got a couple of people that we need to thank who helped make today's show possible. First off, Cleet Glasso from Lighthouse Marine Supply. Man, does this guy know his stuff. We also had Eric Olson on the program, everybody over at BRP at the Evinrude facility. Man, that was a great factory tour. Barry Bearhoff from Surehold Industries was giving us all those tips. Everybody that was giving us tips today. But most importantly, that's right. We've got to thank you for hanging out with us right here in the beautiful boatyard for the last half hour, but we've got to go. But how about this? How about until we see each other again? Can you do yourself a favor? Can you get out there and make your boat ship shape? Of course you can. I'm John Graviscus. We'll see you next time. Rachel's going to love this. Lumashore LED underwater lights. Underwater brilliance. Brighter. Smaller. Innovative. On demand color change. Perfect for setting the right mood and perfect for varying water conditions. Can your underwater lights do this? Ours can. Lumashore.com Family vacation and the boat's broke. What's the plan, Dad? Call the marina. Wait! Greatly disappoint my family. Wrong! You're calling Partman and getting that engine part now! Partman? He's a myth! Cleet Colasso's No Myth and that giant lighthouse marine warehouse that's stuffed full of all the boat gear and engine parts you'll ever need. I'm no expert. Yet his staff is. They'll work with you and ship you that part worldwide. Thanks, part man, for saving our vacation. And my... 
Anytime, Dad. Anytime. When you need the power to remove all mold and mildew, order Ramo. When you crave the muscle to eradicate odors, order Ramo. Ramo removes all mold, mildew, odors. It's powerful yet completely harmless. Other so-called harmful mold and mildew removers might last for days, but ours last for months and months, and others only mask smells. However, with Ramo gunning down these irritants, you're armed with a product that contains no harmful chlorine. Best yet, Ramo's earth-friendly. Order.